Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we dive to this lesson, give it an honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakadash, double honors, a great millstone, at an apostle, a teacher, a well, peace, salutations to both for elect, the scattered abroad, that look like the other nations. And Shalom to the sincere Aki that's out there making a body a living sacrifice to the good cause of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Shalom to you, Aki. And Shalom to Sir Akwathim that's out there resting their husbands, being a pillar of rest, doing the things that they need to be doing in righteousness. Okay, Shalom. And uh, <clears throat> Yahweh, as being the Heavenly Father, which the world eagerly calls God, which his name means he exists. And Bahashim, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, meaning his name means he delivers. And the world eagerly calls him Jesus Christ. Okay. This lesson is entitled. Uh, young man should dream dreams okay and it's basically going into this video of this young man or this this young lad basically having a dream about the mark of the beast okay and um we coming into those times where you know hey the lord is going to be putting his spirit upon all flesh to dream dreams man okay and then we are seeing that being played out upon the earth man because look man the lord said that these things are going to happen man okay now let's go ahead and look at the video. I dream, I, I saw this aisle and I asked them, well, why is there an aisle in the middle of the classroom? And they said, it's so that way we can welcome the devil Lucifer. And I asked them, what are you talking about? And then uh, there was a tent in front of the aisle and they said, if you get the mark from him, you can get food, water, everything you need if you do not get the mark then you can go inside the tent but you don't get anything and when we went in it was like a bathroom and there was this little box but it looked like a stamp and there was a sticky note and it said you are going to pass the third seal from God but when I got out everything was destroyed I gotta find you guys. The class was torn apart. I just see you guys in the pile together. There you go. You no, know, that's script to tell you, man. You know, right here, the first precept. You know, we're gonna get Revelations, the 13th chapter. Um, we're gonna get Revelations, 13th chapter, starting at verse, um, I think it's 16. I'm going to start at verse 15. And the reason it says, <clears throat> And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should, should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the beast, worship the image of the beast should be killed. Verse 16, He caused it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand, right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, so hey, this is going into, you know, hey, the mark of the beast, man. Okay, you cannot dance around this. Is is the the the, the 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 Greek word literally goes into um, the word charagma? Okay, the Greek word right there is basically telling you is it's a it's a incision or something that's going to be implanted. Okay, and that is coming into our lifetime. Okay, and you here it is. You got young men dreaming these dreams, seeing these visions. Okay, so that's how you know this is the is this is true, man. Okay, this is very much true. Okay, and if you can't get down with this, that means hey, the, the spirit of the Lord not dealing with you, man. Okay, because only the hopeful elect will be able to understand this message. Okay, so that's it on that. Let's go ahead and get the next precept. This is the book of Joel, chapter two, and verse twenty-seven through twenty-eight. And the reason it says, <clears throat> and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Make this turn. It says, and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Yahweh, your power and none else. And my people should never be ashamed. OK. And the Lord later expounds on what he is saying. OK. This is Joel chapter two and verse 28. And the reason it says, <clears throat> and it shall come to pass. Afterward, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, 
Your old man shall dream dreams and your young man shall see visions. Right. And as you see, that's the fulfillment of that scripture because you're seeing it play out just by that young lad in that video, man. OK, he is basically have sharing a vision that he had about the market of beasts, man. OK, for you other camps, man, how is that so hard to understand that even young lads like this can understand that this is the market of beasts, man? OK, here it is. The Lord is saying that he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh, meaning all flesh, man. OK, even these damn heathens having dreams about the end of the world coming, man. OK. It was years back when this woman had a dream about Yahweh Shai's return and she said he was a so-called dark-skinned man and he was angry, man. Okay? Now, she could have been a Jake. She could be a Jake, you know, but you never know. But at the same time, the scriptures say that he shall pour his spirit upon all flesh that your young men and your uh, and your maidens uh, drink prophesied visions, man. See visions and dreams, man. Okay? So you are seeing this play out, man. Okay? That's it on that. Let's get the book of Numbers, chapter 12 and verse 6. <clears throat> and it says, and he said now, and he said, and he said, hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, Yahweh, will make myself known unto him in a vision and so will speak unto him in a dream. Right. And that's how the Lord really speaks to you. OK. In a vision or in a dream, man. OK, because, hey, the Lord is letting you know the things that are going to come to pass, man. The Lord is showing you prophecies, man. OK, I had dreams about thermonuclear destruction, man. OK, brothers can confess and testify and say that, hey, they had dreams before they was in the truth, man, of destruction coming, of a mark coming, a mark coming. OK, I have visions about the MOTB, man. OK. Because that's the Lord letting it be known, like, hey, this is how you know this is the end. And look what's being pushed in the world right now, man. You got literally digital currencies being made manifest before your very eyes. And they are literally telling you they finna shut this shit down, man. And bring about the digital currency, man. What is going to come with the digital currency? The mark of the beast, man. Okay? This, these are exciting times because, hey, we are seeing... You know, fulfillment of these scriptures, man. What did Elder P Apostle Tahar deem this year? Uh, hopeful, hopefully, hopeful all the prophecies come to pass, roughly paraphrasing that, okay? And we are seeing digital currencies being made, okay? We are seeing all the fulfillment of these scriptures happening, man, okay? And we pray and hope that this, the end of this society comes soon, man, because, hey, you're seeing this place getting more and more drastically wicked day by day, okay? It's getting more wicked, Okay, now this it on that. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get uh this. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter thirty three and verse thirty two. Because hey, when we on the highways and byways, man, hey, we are going out there to proclaim the Lord's message, man. Okay, and when we bring these things out to the forefront, hey, we are like a lovely song. But hey, only the hopeful elect would tune in to that song. Okay, they will understand everything about that true song, man. Okay. They will understand the uh, message behind the song, okay? They not just hearing the words, they hearing the beat, they hearing the tune, they hearing everything that comes with it, man, okay? This is Ezekiel 33 and verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that have a pleasant voice and can play well on instruments for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Right, and this is speaking into Israel. You know, because we proclaim these words into Israel all day. But guess what Jake do? Don't want to listen and they don't want to hear it. Okay? We just are like unto them as a lovely song, but the hopeful elect will understand these words, man. Okay? Verse 33, it says, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come to pass. Right. We are assured, we have assurance that the mark of the beast is going to be made is going to come to pass because hey we have confidence and we believe in this man okay because we seeing it being brought forth man okay it's clear as day that they are going to bring this to pass man okay look at the things they are pushing digital currencies bank shutdowns business shutdowns okay they gonna make it to the point where either you gonna rely on us or starve okay and a lot of people gonna put their trust in the shadow of Egypt, which is ruled by who right now? 
Esau Edom, the so-called white man, okay? And if you're not putting your trust and your faith into Yahweh Shemi Shai, you're going to be caught out there, okay? Continue on. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, right? Because when these things come to pass, man, these people are going to see and realize that, hey, a prophet has been among them. Okay, because the Lord showed us the visions. The Lord showed us the dreams of the mark of the beast coming to pass, man. Okay, so we already have an idea of what's going to come. Okay, all right. So that's it on that. That's it on. Oh, it's locking. Let's get the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, and verse 2. And the reason it says, And Yahweh answered and said, and Answer me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may he may run that readeth it. Right. How are we making the visions plain upon tables? Okay, we are doing these videos. We are bringing the information out. We are sharing our visions amongst the brotherhood. Our women telling us about which visions that they are having about the end. Okay? Because, hey, the Lord said what? He should pour his spirit upon all flesh to dream dreams, man. Okay? And have visions. Okay? So that's the Lord showing you in your sleep. Because the Lord said, hey, he will show you in your sleep the things that are going to come to pass. And we bring it amongst the brotherhood to share it, man. Okay? To, to let us know what the Lord is going to bring to pass, man. Okay? Verse 3. And it says, for the vision is yet for a point in time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will, not sh it will surely come and it will not tarry. Right, and that's going to the prophecies, okay? The prophecies are going to come to pass, regardless of the matter of fact, how you people feel about it, it's going to come in your lifetime because, hey, the vision's been wrote upon, playing upon tables already, man. You got young lads, young men, young, you know, young men saying, uh, talking about the mark of the beast, man. And I doubt that that, that, that that young man is in the truth, okay? But, hey, the, the, the Lord is waking up the mass of the people, man, you know? You're going to have elect coming from all corners of the world, but most of the elect is going to come from here, Babylon the Great. And I pray and hope that I'm part of that. I pray and hope you, Akim and Akwathium, that tune in are part of that, man. Okay? So with that, man, I pray and hope this lesson is edifying, giving all honor, no glory, no praise due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Bahakadash. Till next time, to next video. Shalom, Korn Shirala, Bada Ball.